Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess Bofferson and uh, today we are going to look at what happened to my hair when I started to take uh, more uh, of the uh, cysteine that I am normally taking. And the one I'm taking is uh, the one that is called uh, in acetyl cysteine or in acetyl cysteine. Uh, what uh, is going on uh, with your hair when uh, it grows is uh, kind of like um, maybe a little bit complicated but uh, to explain it uh, in a simple way then uh, you have uh, your hair strand and uh, on the outside you have uh, the cuticle and in the inner side you have uh, something called uh, the marrow and uh, what is uh, important in respect of uh, cysteine is uh, the space in between the marrow and the, the cuticle and that is uh, the cortex so in the cortex uh, you will have um, your keratin and uh, i guess you have heard about a uh, keratin if you go to the hairdresser they will uh, have products with uh, keratin and stuff like that and there is e even a brand called uh, Kerastase so, uh, and that is obviously named after keratin so I think it's uh, owned by L'Oreal um, what happens is that uh, in uh, the cortex you have uh, your uh, keratin and um, that is simply very basically it's a protein and what happens is that uh, it curls up and then it meets another a protein that is curled up and it will uh, link those two uh, proteins together so uh, where where comes a cysteine in in this uh, picture here well it is so that uh, the keratin that is a, a protein and a protein is a long chain of amino acids so one of the most uh, pronounced uh, amino acids in uh, keratin is uh, cysteine and uh, it is very important for the structure of the hair because um, cysteine uh, is a sulfur uh, amino acid so it contains a, a sulfur and uh, or a group or an atom that's called a sulfur and uh, that is very important because if you have uh, two uh, cysteines then they will link together uh, via this uh, desulfide bridge or bonding and uh, if you think about if you have a, a string of pearls and you have a like a, a lot of pearls that uh, has a little hook on it then uh, if you have another string of pearls with a, with a hook on it and a lot of hooks on it, then uh, those two strings, when you combine them, they will be very uh, rigid. They will be very uh, stuck together. And if you don't have that many hooks, well, uh, then those two strings of pearls will not be that strong and they will be very much more uh, flexible. Whereas if you have a, a lot of hooks, then it will be much more rigid. So uh, what uh, happened uh, when I started to take uh, more uh, of this uh, NAC or in acetyl cysteine that I normally did. Normally I take uh, four grams of it. So I started uh, some month ago to take uh, eight grams instead and uh, noticed uh, a difference because uh, about mid July this year uh, I cut my hair very short because uh, of this uh, crisis that we are in so it's not possible to go to the hairdresser. So uh, I did that and as my hair grew out uh, I noticed that um, it felt a little bit uh, different and uh, what the difference was that uh, it felt more rigid it felt uh, maybe a little thicker it's different uh, it's difficult to feel if it's thicker but definitely i felt that the hair was more uh, rigid and as my hair grew out um, i noticed that uh, something else also happened because normally my hair would just fall uh, to the sides and it will not kind of like lift itself so I noticed that my hair started to grow like upwards on both sides where normally it would just kind of like fall down. And in general, my hair uh, is normally very uh, soft. Um, so what happened was that I felt it was stronger or was more rigid, as, as I said. Uh, so definitely I felt that something was uh, going on. And uh, then I looked into what had I done uh, that could have uh, caused that sort of a change in my hair and I noticed that I had started to take uh, double the amount of uh, the cysteine that I normally took and uh, I went in and I looked uh, what could uh, that cause uh, in my hair that I took more than I normally did and then uh, I realized that uh, you will find a lot of uh, articles uh, like maybe pseudo science articles saying that uh, your hair will become thicker and uh, it will be stronger and so on so I looked into some uh, scholarly articles uh, as well and uh, thinking about how, bi how uh, biology works and uh, with the um, cysteine and the uh, desulfide uh, 
bridge uh, in the hair, uh, I realized that uh, that was must have been what is going on with my hair. Because one thing is that uh, you can read a lot of stuff and then uh, you take uh, a little bit of Sistine and you don't really notice any sort of a difference. So what I basically took was uh, 8 grams of a Sistine, or in this case the in Institute Sistine version. Um, and there uh, I took 8 grams, so that is that is rather a lot. And that is not what people would maybe normally take, but it was enough for me to notice uh, a difference that I had not noticed uh, when I just took uh, 4 grams uh, of it. Now, uh, how much cysteine is there in hair? Well, some will say there is between kind of like 7 and 20% of the amino acids in your keratin uh, is um, cysteine. So uh, what happens is that uh, there will be made this sort of a desulfide bridge. And then you, instead of having a cysteine, you have something called, uh, also called cysteine or it's kind of like it's spelled a little bit different, uh, so you may call it a cysteine, and where the other one is cysteine. Uh, so uh, the new version that you get is a cysteine with an I and uh, not an E. Uh, so um, that is basically uh, what is going on. And the more you have, uh, the stronger your hair will be, obviously to a certain degree. It could be that uh, you had the um, that it, your hair could basically have up to about 20% of cysteine uh, in uh, the hair. But if you, for whatever reason, uh, are using a cysteine uh, for other things in your body, uh, then you might not get enough cysteine in your hair, and uh, therefore uh, your hair will not be uh, that strong. It might be a little bit more brittle, and it will kind of like break easily and stuff like that. And uh, why would the, uh, the body not uh, put a cysteine into the hair? Well, uh, for the body, hair is not that important. It might be very important for us uh, in the beauty community and stuff and so on, uh, but for the body as such, it is not uh, very uh, important and therefore it will uh, make sure that the cysteine is used uh, to produce uh, glutathione instead and uh, for other uh, proteins that are produced in the body because uh, for the body, hair is not something that is uh, very, very uh, important. So uh, what I did was I took much more than I normally did, and I did notice uh, a difference. So maybe it could be uh, for me that uh, my body is using a cysteine in a certain way, and uh, if I take a little bit more, then uh, I will have a surplus, and then my body will incorporate it uh, more into uh, my hair than it would uh, otherwise do. The thing is that I took this uh, extra cysteine and I noticed that uh, there was a difference uh, in my hair. So therefore, uh, I would like uh, to tell you that uh, this is maybe something that can help you as well. If you have uh, some sort of a brittle hair that will often break and maybe isn't that uh, lustrous as you would like it uh, to be. So this is something that will help uh, for the hair. Also, a cysteine will help uh, your hair to grow. And it is so that you need a cysteine in order to... Um, make a keratin produced uh, in the first place. And I will link to an article uh, below that you can read uh, which tells you a little bit more about that. But uh, there might be someone that tells you that uh, iron is um, important for hair as well. And it is, but uh, if you are taking cysteine, then uh, cysteine can actually uh, compensate for not having uh, enough iron in, in uh, available uh, for uh, the hair to uh, grow. So uh, again, you can see that uh, article uh, below here. But something else uh, that I have spoken about before is that if you're taking an amino acid uh, lysine, then uh, that will help you uh, take up uh, iron from uh, your food. Uh, because I will not, unless you have spoken to a doctor about it, I will not recommend uh, you to take uh, iron supplements uh, as such. I'd rather take a uh, lysine uh, to help you uh, take up uh, iron from uh, your food food because uh, iron uh, as a supplement can be a little bit of a problem because you don't want uh, too much of it. So uh, yes, uh, cysteine is something that is uh, very important for keratin and keratin is something that is in your hair, it is in your nails and it is in your skin. So the difference between the sort of keratin that is uh, in your skin and in your hair is that 
in your skin there isn't that much uh, cysteine and therefore your uh, keratin uh, in the skin is uh, what is called soft keratin where the one you have uh, in your nails and in your hair is something that is called hard keratin it is also used for uh, producing your uh, hooves and uh, if you have hooves and are uh, understanding what is going on in this video here i would say that maybe you should contact some sort of medical team because i think they would be very interested in that so uh, yes if you would like to see more of this sort of videos please subscribe hit the bell and do all the things you must do not to be notified when i upload more of this sort of uh, videos thank you for watching see you bye